Hello, my name is Frank Bernard. I'm from Germany and I'm a journalist and editor in chief. This is my video about the very first Bread Buyer Persona. It is a homework for the course Digital and Social Marketing at iversity.org. I have chosen a bakery as an example for a company that may develop and use a buyer persona to optimize their marketing. The reason is that to me the question is very important if small local businesses profit from digital and social media marketing. New forms of marketing may be vitally important to them. Especially many bakeries, butchers and other independent food retailers struggle to compete against discounters. I hope to have your attention now for the topic. If not, stay tuned. I will introduce Anita to you within seconds. The first and obvious thing the business I have in mind does to get attention is their small shop, a bakery. If you are longing for more information about the business, they use a very basic website and Facebook. There are only four posts available on Facebook and only five likes. Their shop isn't in prime location, but it is in the heart of the town. They don't do a lot of marketing besides the usual paper bags and occasional ads in local media. Their products are at the top of the price range, but not certified as bio or organic. The bakery was actually founded in the 17th century. It is proud of its long-lasting tradition, handmade products and special recipes. They stress all that on their website. Moreover, they inform their digital visitors about an award they got it's called Business of the Month, and some offers, breakfast, pretzels, and such things. This tells a lot about the buyer persona, doesn't it? In a fairly traditional, nearly rural environment, the persona is a she. Let's call her Anita. Anita is local. Therefore, she may know the shop since her childhood. She may have seen the shop or heard about the products. Anita uses a smartphone to connect with her peer groups and family. She surfs through the web for information and fun, has a Facebook account. So she is in a way social. But she doesn't think of connecting to her bakery via social media. Neither does Anita use search engines to find alternatives to her bakery. Anita has a family, which is very important to her. She lives within a range of six miles around the shop, is quite well off, owns a car and she is in the mid-40s. So much for the hard facts. What drives Anita? She has a strong commitment to the town, her neighborhood, local associations. Her family is the most important focus in her life. Therefore, she desires firstly to keep her family healthy and satisfied. They all love good food, having usually an unhurried family breakfast on weekends and maybe FASPA. This is some kind of traditional cold evening meal in the south of Germany. As a mother and a wife, she is rated by the quality of, her, of the food. Not only, but you know. Anita and her family trust people they know face to face. Secondly, Anita likes to have a lively city. She tries to buy as many things as possible locally to support local businesses. Thirdly, Anita likes to have a chat in the shop to get some knowledge, some tittle-tattle about the greater family, the locals. 
For all these reasons, Anita's action is to buy at the bakery very regularly. She is a regular customer. The interesting question to me is, could digital and social media marketing improve the relationship between the bakery and Anita? Could the bakery attract new Anitas by those channels? What do you think about that?